Now in a week of rock and roll stories, who better to discuss them than rock and roll legend, friend of the show, Mr Sean Ryder. Welcome back, Sean. Oh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, we were just talking there about the demise of the NME. Did, uh, were you sad to see that? Uh, was a, yeah, you know, but the, the thing about that is, if you, if you look at it, right, the enemy sells to, what, 15 to 20-odd year olds. So, yeah. so the kids, I mean, you know, from 2000 to 2018, I mean, that's <laughs> your, main, you know, your main market. They've probably never picked up a, nah. a magazine. Uh, how important was it to your success in the early days with the Mondays? What, the enemy? Yeah. Well, I mean, reading the enemy was pretty much your Bible, wasn't it? You know, I mean, you found out what was going on, who was what. Yeah. So, but again, now, I mean, because, I mean, you've got an 18 year old kid, a 15 year old kid, you're not going to go to the news agents. But I mean, did they help discover you? Did they help promote you and get the, the band started? Well, the enemy certainly helped the band on its way. I mean, we had, we had a kid called James Brown, who yeah. James Brown went of this on. show. James went on to do his big magazine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Loaded. Yeah. Loaded. Yeah. You know, so James was a big part of us, and yeah. you know, so he helped us on our way. The journalists must have loved you um, in those days because they didn't have to make anything up, did they? Well, yeah. Because well, they come on tour with you and the stories tell themselves. Well, we basically give them a story. I mean, instead of talking about, you know, that's in the key of G and what PV amp you've got, yeah. I mean, we, we throw out a line of Charlie or MDA on the, on the pool table and there was yeah. your story. Yeah. On the pool table, though, on the bays, that doesn't... You can't do a line of Charlie on the bays. Mate, you can do a line of Charlie on top of your head. Yeah, well, my, my, my head would be much fucking better well, to it do it. Well, it looks like on. a pool set. It looks like a looks pool like ball. Looks like a pool ball, mate. Yeah. Uh, right, did you hear about this story about Liam and Noel Berger and Richard yeah, Judy? Yeah, what yeah. do you yeah. think of this? Look, you know, at the end of the day, right, Richard... I mean, we've got to go for Judy here, right? Judy's a dude. She's a top girl. Right. She's an Ancoach bird, right? Yeah. So she's respected, yeah. right? And, and, and because of Judy, Richard's respected, right? right? So their gaff would never be touched. Is that and right? the thing about the Gallagher's, mm. right, both of them, when you come from a little place like Burnage, mm. right, and you make it to be these incredible worldwide rock stars, mm. everybody's going to have a story to tell. The old bag you took your ball off, you never give it your back. Yeah. The people at the news agents when you, you, you know, Robin Crisp, they've all got a story. Yeah. Right? And it makes them feel dead important. And I'm sure Richard was only having a joke mm. or not thinking correctly when he came out with that one. So you don't think they robbed the houses? I absolutely know they didn't rob the houses because there was too much respect for Richard and Judy. You're making me feel as if in that part of Manchester, Richard and Judy were considered untouchables. Not untouchable, no, but if you had a bit of respect for Judy and Colts Bird, Top Bird, then you just didn't touch their gaff. And she, because she was, what, why was it? Because she was just, she knew everyone. She was liked. She, she was well liked. Yeah. 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 And he just by association with her. Well, he's an Essex kid, you know what I mean? Did you hear about this Russian spy getting poisoned? I did, yeah. What do you think of poisoning as a, as a great. way of getting. If I, to... if I could poison you, I'd poison you. Why her. would you fucking poison me? What have I ever done? Well, you're a cunt. Fuck it now. <laughs> so, well, it doesn't mean you have to fucking go around it poisoning does, everyone. Does, <laughs> All right, well, we I could can... poison each other. Listen, mate. I die together in a I poison would, death I wouldn't poison. <laughs> I want you to know this. I would not fucking poison you. Well, I wouldn't poison you. You would poison me. No, I wouldn't. Okay, you? yeah. Is that, you're joking. You'd never poison me. Have oh. you done have you ever poisoned a person though? Mm, with what I can remember in my, my, my memory, no. Oh, tell me about your Give show. Give a wank. Eh? Give us a wank. Like Before I let you go... Go on, you gave me a wank last I time. I did not give you, you a you wank. You gave me a wank last You're time. You're off your head. <laughs> Sean, tell me about your show, 100 Years Younger. What are you, 100 Years Younger, what can I say? It's, uh, it was a lifetime... Uh, 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 it, Changed my life. Yeah, but you boozed all the way through it, didn't you? And oh, you God. broke the rules. Dude, I can't be told what to do by some Whoa. fucking Norwegian Viking six foot tall bitch. <laughs> Let's take a look at you having some coffee shoved up your bumhole. How far does the tube go up your. I don't oh. know how long it is. <laughs> Can you decide? Sean, I promise you, it's just like. 
This. Oh, oh well, all right. Study your time. Oh, all right. No damage will be done. Let me know if anything hurts. OK. OK. You've got a little hemorrhoid there. Yeah, I know. So, that's uh, Sorry. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> I got a little hemorrhoid. How did it feel? All right. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. I'm going to have plenty more. Yeah, more coffee Absol out the bum. Yeah, absolutely. Um, thanks, Sean Ryder. Uh, that's it for tonight. Thanks also to my panel, Fern Brady, Rob Deering and John Holmes. Now, let's see if there's one more wish in my magic lamp. I wish this show was over now so I could go and have a nice slap-up tea. Goodbye. <laughs> I can go and have a lovely <laughs> wank. Good night.